All right, here we go. Powers. We're talking powers the next few lessons. Powers are things like this. I'm sure you've seen them before, where you have a big number and a little number up there. The whole thing, the big number and the little number, is called the power. So go ahead, draw all this, and uh, write it all out, label it. That whole thing is a power. The big number is the base. And the little number is an exponent. We will cover what all those words mean in a second. What this means, 3 to the power 2 is the way you say it, or anything to the power 2 you could say is squared. So you may have heard people say this is 3 squared. So just what this means is you're going to take the number 3 and you're going to multiply it by itself two times. So it means this, 3 times 3. 3 times 3, two threes. That 2 means there are two threes times each other. It's not 3 times 2, which I know a bunch of you are going to do, and I'm going to scream really loud if I hear that kind of answer. It's not 6. 3 times 3, which is 9. That's the key difference between multiplying and exponents and powers, okay? So don't make that mistake, please. So 3 to the squared is this, 9, because it means 3 times itself twice. Okay, here's another example. Let's say we switched it around. Let's say we had 2 to the power 3. 2 to the 3. Another way of saying this would be 2 cubed, and then to the, the third exponent is cubed. So this is the same thing as 2 times itself 3 times. Again, the little number tells you how many times you multiply the big number. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so 2 to the power 3 is 8. All three of these things are equal to each other. And they are all, all three of them have their own special names. This, the thing with the little exponent there, is said to be exponent form. This, when you write it all out and say what the exponent form means, is expanded form. You have to expand this out and write it out fully. And then the answer, the actual answer to the question, is what they call standard form. So exponent form this, expanded form when it's written out long, standard form is the answer. Okay, so using that, so let's make a little table here. And fill in the table. What's missing? Okay, so if you have an exponent form of 6 to the power 2, or 6 squared, the expanded form would be that 6 times itself 2 times. 6 times itself 1, 2, 2 times. 6 times 6, and the answer to that is 36. That's your standard form. Or answer. Okay. Now here, I've given you the standard form, 25, what would this and this be? So again, in powers, it's what number times itself gives you this. Can you think of a number that times itself gives you 25? And it shouldn't take too long, hopefully, to figure out that it's 5 times 5 gives you 25. That would be the expanded form. The exponent form would be the number that we're multiplying and the number of times we're multiplying it. 1, 2, 5 to the power 2 is 25. Okay, one last one of these. 8 times 8 times 8 is the expanded form. The exponent form would be, well, we're talking about 8s. And how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 
equal it's 8 to the power 3 and 8 to the power 3 how would you do this you have 8 times 8 which is 64 times 8 and again you can't use calculator so you think oh how am I supposed to do this without a calculator well do what I'm doing right now 64 times 8 do the stuff that you did in grade 3 and grade 4 4 times 8 32 leave the 2 put the 3 over here Four, 6 times 8 48 plus 3 51 the answer is 512 so that is exponent form of standard form okay now if you could make a table it's going to have uh, six lines to it. Yeah, six lines to it with these headings. Power, expanded form, standard form, base, and exponent. Like this. <clears throat> well, let's take a look, fill in this entire table. So the power is the whole thing. The expanded form, which we just did above, is what, what is this the long way? Well, it just means 7 times 7. Remember, standard form is the answer. 7 times 7 is 49. The base, if you remember from above, remember up here, the base is the big number, the exponent is the little number. So, the big number here is 7, so the base is 7. The exponent is the little number 2, so the exponent here is 2 all filled in done okay let's fill in what's left behind here we're told it's 10 times 10 so the power must be 10 and the exponent is going to be 2 so from there obviously we can figure out what the base is the base is the big number 10 and the exponent is 2 and then what is 10 times 10 it's 100 Okay, now we're getting a little tricky here. 27. What number times itself 2, 3, 4, or whatever many times is going to give you 27? Well, 27 is an odd number, so 2 is not going to do anything with it. 2 only goes into even numbers. What about 3? 3 times 3 is 9. That's not good enough. What about 3 times 3 times 3? It works. Trust me, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So how would you write this as a power? With a base of 3, an exponent of 3. A base of 3, an exponent of 3. Okay, next, if you are given the standard form being 16, and the base has to be 2, what that means is, it's 2 to the power something. 2 times itself, how many times, will give you 16? Well, let's figure this out. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So that is your expanded form. How many times do we need to use this? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the exponent is 4. We'll put a 4 there too. Okay, last one of these. Standard form. Standard form being 17. It means the answer is 17. What number times itself could give you 17? Um, uh, nothing, really, right? other than 17 times 1. So you just have 17 here. Some of you are probably rolling your eyes going, what? What would this be as a power? 17 to the power 1. 117. 117 is 17. So the base, 17. The exponent, 1. So that's powers and exponents.
Now let's take our good friend bed mass and join it with exponents. Same as before, follow bed mass, show all your steps, but just use exponents now. Okay, 2 to the power 4 plus 3 squared, or 3 to the power 2. You do exponents first. You have an exponent here, an exponent there, you go left to right. This first, 2 to the power 4 is not 8, it's 16. We just did that up here. 2 to the power 4 is 16. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And the plus, and I'm going to save a step and not rewrite this, 3 squared is 9, so 16 plus 9 is 25. Next up, 3 times 4 squared. Don't do the multiplying first, do the exponent first. Bed mass, the E, comes first. Exponents. 4 squared is 16. Bring down the times and the 3. 16 times 3, 48. Alright, what about this one? 10 squared minus 6 squared minus plus 2 in brackets over 2 to the power 1. What we gotta do here is the brackets first, obviously. And inside the brackets, you've got exponents. Let's do the exponents first. This is what we'll do first, left to right. That gives us 100. Minus, we can do this as well, 36. And we can bring down the rest. Minus plus 2 in brackets divided by 2 to the power 1. That's under bracket. That's under exponents. We can do that now. And that is just 2. Okay. Now, inside the brackets, we have all this stuff. This double sign really bugs me. Let's just get rid of that double sign first. The signs are different, so that's going to become a minus sign. Okay. 100 minus 36. 64. Bring down the minus 2. Over the 2. We did that first because it's still in brackets. Next, still in brackets, 64 minus 2 is 62. Divided by 2 gives you 31. I went sideways here because I have written down here our skill testing questions. Before I get to that, again, this looked ugly. Just do it step by step, and it gets nice and simple. Just like eating a big, huge Big Mac. You don't stone all eat in one gulp. You take it one little bite at a time. Or at least normal, normal people do that. Skill testing questions, anyways, here they are. I'd like you to fill in this table and give me what I didn't give you. So there's like seven little mini questions here. And then, if you could try this question as well. Okay, so you know the deal. Show me the notes. Have all this done. Once I check it and approve it, you're off to the races. Talk to you later. Bye.